Hello students, welcome to EPG Pathshala. I am Vinodhini Kapoor from Chandigarh and I am teaching in the Faculty of Management. Today we are going to discuss about the module Sensitivity Analysis under the paper Management Information System. After completing this module, the students will be able to understand the basic concept of sensitivity analysis, understand characteristics and benefits of sensitivity analysis, list the various steps involved in the sensitivity analysis process, understand importance of sensitivity analysis to support decision making, analyze various industry applications of sensitivity analysis. You have been running a restaurant for five years. While business is consistent, you haven't seen any increase in business in the last two years. You spent some time analyzing your business to determine what you can do to increase sales in the next 12 months. As part of this review, you do a sensitivity analysis. As you start your sensitivity analysis, you begin planning what changes you could make in your restaurant. You could change the menu, redecorate, change the theme or type of food you offer, add catering or expand your dining room size. In looking at each of these options, you consider what is the cost of the change that will be and the result that you anticipate. Upon reviewing each of these options, you determine that changing the theme and expanding the dining room size will be much more costly than justified based on the amount of revenue that each option would bring. Some changes tend to immediately affect the success of the restaurant. You may review the menu and decide to remove the items not selling fairly well while adding few, few creative ones. Presently, as being a self-service restaurant, you may also analyze what would happen while adding catering services. This can easily increase revenue by 15% in the, ne in the next 5 to 6 months. Thus, sensitivity analysis reveals that each of these options offer the opportunity to increase revenue without an extensive increase in cost. A sensitivity analysis is a hypothesis of what will happen if variables are changed. It is analyzing what will happen if one variable is changed. In other words, if you change something about your business, how will it affect other aspects of your business or the overall operations? As we consider the different areas of the restaurant that can be changed and make educated assumptions about what the result will be from each of those changes. Sensitivity analysis is a general approach that can give decision makers powerful insights into the problems they are confronting. It's not the technique that they can it's not the technique that can provide solution to that problem. A technical viewpoint suggests sensitivity analysis is a technique that is used to determine how different values of an independent variable impact a particular dependent variable under a given set of assumptions. This technique is used within specific boundaries that depend on one or more input variables such as effect that changes in interest rates that have on bond prices. Coming to the diagrammatic representation, uncertainty may arise from different sources such as errors in the data, parameter estimation procedure, alternative model structures are propagated through a model for uncertainty analysis and their relative importance is quantified via sensitivity analysis. Characteristics and benefits of sensitivity analysis. Sensitivity analysis is a method used to incorporate uncertainty into decision making by taking each uncertain factor in turn and calculates the change that would be necessary in that factor before the original decision is reversed. It involves 
the what if questions characteristics of sensitivity analysis it is the influence that one parameter which is the independent variable has on the value of the another the dependent variable both of which may either be discontinuous or discrete sensitivity analysis is a statistical tool based on seeing how inputs and parameters affect outputs generally each input is changed one at a time to see how it affects output however this does not account for interconnectedness between inputs they may not be independent variables sensitivity analysis is a case of what if analysis that involves repeated changes to only one variable at a time typically decision makers are making repeated small changes to a variable and are observing and evaluating the effects on other variables from their financial model this process is helping managers to understand the impact of various changes of the selected variable on other factors involved in decisions being considered for example determining at what point the interest rate on a loan makes the project no longer feasible benefits of sensitivity analysis sensitivity analysis is a management accounting tool used by those at the top of organization to analyze scenarios this process of gaining insight into likely outcome of events is commonly referred to as what if analysis it is used to test the effect of critical and non critical variables on the overall profitability of a company management incorporate sensitivity analysis into the capital budgeting process in order to get an idea of the possible relationship that might exist between certain components of the proposed project contribution sales profitability liquidity and the overall working capital management of an entity sensitivity analysis is one of the most widely used risk analysis tools that attempt to measure the extent of change in variables and the underlying assumption that would bear the impact on the bottom line of the cash flow and the profitability of a project the idea of appraising a project before committing resources to give it is to give managers the chance of having a bigger picture of what value the project would add to the overall success of the business directing management's efforts management needs a level of concentration in discharging their duties sensitivity analysis identifies areas that are crucial in the attainment of overall organizational goal as contained in the mission and the vision statement of an organization any area that is identified as highly sensitive will be closely monitored by the management source of planning information through the application of sensitivity analysis information is made available to management in the form which facilitates the application of professional judgment when discharging their managerial duties ease of being automated the process of analyzing different possible effects of a variable of the acceptability of a project can be done in a flash by simply plugging in the variables in sensitivity analysis software that would accurately perform the calculations and leave you with making decisions as a quality check management's attention to the importance of implementing quality control in the process that have a high impact on the success or failure of a project is intensified when they know how crucial a variable is in the investment analysis process let's come to the steps involved in sensitivity analysis sensitivity analysis is a data driven investigation of how certain variables impact a single independent variable and how many changes in those variables will change the independent variable the first step of a sensitivity analysis is to identify 
the dependent variable you want to predict and as many of the independent variables that might impact the dependent variable. Defining the target function and choosing the input of interest. Best estimates for a variable are made and a decision arrived at. Each of the variables is analyzed in turn to see how much the original estimate can change before the original decision is reversed. For example, it may be that the estimated selling price can fall by 5% before the original decision to accept a project is reversed. Let's take the case of the diagram as seen in the picture. Certain inputs such as parameter distributions or layers or certain functions or sub-models may undergo the uncertainty analysis or the sensitivity analysis to reveal different results. After running through multiple model runs, it can be seen that the uncertainty analysis will reveal what is the variability of results. However, the sensitivity analysis as observed in output A and B shows how different inputs are responsible for variability of outputs. Coming back to the steps involved in sensitivity analysis, further allotment of a distribution function to the chosen elements, producing a matrix of inputs with the help of distribution by a suitable design, accessing the model and calculating the target function distributions, choosing a technique for evaluating the impact or comparative weight of every input element on the target function. Let's take up another case. The case of the Great Wall Beetle. This is a company that operates in the mountainous countries of Zongwa and constructs tunnels for countries' major road developers. The company is in the process of submitting its bid for construction of the country's longest tunnel on the Interstate Expressway. The tunnel would be 20 kilometers long and the company bids to receive $1 from each particular vehicle that crosses the tunnel for the next 100 years. The company's chief engineer comes up with a net present value for $1,218 million for the project, assuming that cash flows are received at the year end. His estimates include a weighted average cost of capital of 11%. Daily traffic of totality of 1 million vehicles, daily operating expenses as 3% of total revenue, and the initial cost of $2 billion. Our consideration is to find out how sensitive the net present value is to each input. To find sensitivity of the net present value to the estimate of a weighted average cost of capital. So what we do here is we calculate the net present value assuming that the weighted average cost of capital is 12.1% instead of the previous 11% that we have stated. We are keeping the daily traffic at 1 million vehicles, operating expenses at 3%, and the initial cost at 2000 million US dollars. Now this will, really, uh, this will give a net present value of 926 million dollars. The percentage change in output is minus 24.01%. Now this figure is calculated by the corresponding change in input which is calculated at 10%. The percentage change in this particular output that will be relieved per 1% change in the input is minus 2.4. Similarly, if we find that sensitivity estimates for daily traffic, operating expenses and the initial costs are 2.64, minus 0 0.08 and minus 1.64. The calculation not only shows the relationship between the output and input, 
but it also tells how sensitive the output is to each input. A negative sensitivity. It means that the output or the net present value decreases with increase in that particular input, such as the discount rate. We conclude that the net present value is most sensitive to estimate of daily traffic and least sensitive to the estimate of daily operating expenses. Knowing the importance of daily traffic figure in the output, the company should try to estimate the daily traffic with as much accuracy as possible. The importance of sensitivity analysis to support decision making. Decision support system is an interactive analytical modeling process where users are exploring possible alternatives and not demanding pre-specified information. Decision support systems are used to find the information needs to support them to make a decision. There are several basic types of analytical modeling activities such as the what-if analysis, sensitivity analysis, goal-seeking analysis, optimization analysis, knowledge discovery and analysis. Decision making is an integral part of management. It may be useful to a decision maker to have some indication of how sensitive an alternative choice might be to the changes in one or more of those values. It is not possible to explore all the possible combinations of all the variables in a typical problem. In spite of this, there are some elements that a decision maker can use to assess the sensitivity of assumption probabilities. One of the tools useful for the analysis in some decision making problems is sensitivity analysis. It provides a range of feasibility over which the choice of alternative remains the same. Successful decision making consists of several steps, the first and the most important being carefully defining the problem. Sensitivity analysis offers a better understanding of the problem, different effects of limitations and what if questions. The insights obtained are frequently much more valuable than a specific numerical answer. A model-driven decision support system with appropriate sensitivity analysis should help in testing robustness of an optimal solution, identifying critical values, thresholds or break-even values where the optimal strategy changes, identifying sensitive or important variables, identifying suboptimal solutions, developing flexible recommendations which depend on circumstances, comparing values of simple and complex decision strategies, assessing risk factor of a strategy or scenario. Sensitivity analysis determines how much a change in an input will affect the output. In what of analysis, a decision maker makes changes to variables or relationships among variables, changes in the variables. Further, observes the results of other variables. Sensitivity analysis helps a business estimate what will happen to the project if the assumptions and estimates turn out to be unreliable. Sensitivity analysis involves changing the assumptions or estimates in a calculation to see the impact on the project's finances. In this way, it prepares the business managers in case the project doesn't generate the expected results so they can better analyze the project before making an investment. Industry Applications of Sensitivity Analysis Let's come to discuss what is measurement of sensitivity. We conduct sensitivity analysis by an approach that is outlined below. Find the base case output, for example, the net present value. Add the base case value, say V1, of the input 
which we intend to measure the sensitivity, such as the discounting rate. We keep all other inputs in the model, such as the cash flow growth rate, the tax rate, depreciation, etc., constant. Then find the value of output at a new value of the input, say V2, while keeping the other inputs constant. Then we find the percentage change in the output and the percentage change in the input. Find sensitivity by dividing the percentage change in the output by the percentage change in the input. In the second round, we test sensitivity for other input, say cash flow growth rate, while keeping the rest of the inputs constant. And we carry on this process till we get the sensitivity figure for each of the inputs. The higher the sensitivity figure, the more sensitive is the output to any change in the input and vice versa. Applications of Sensitivity Analysis If you are making vacation plans for the family, you might be considering flying versus driving. Except, what if the air tickets become more expensive at the last minute? Or the gasoline prices of cars go up? These factors determine your final decision. Using sensitivity analysis will help you make a much better final decision. Businesses engage in risks since there is no guarantee a business will return a profit. Management strives to minimize risk as much as possible while still engaging in activities that earn the company profits. Managers engage in sensitivity analysis before executing a new project or other business activity. Sensitivity analysis helps managers assess what factors could cause a project to turn out a smaller profit, affecting the net profit value of the planned activity. Managers determine how to manage any involved risk in a new project or activity if they decide to engage in the activity after using sensitivity analysis. Sensitivity analysis may be used to identify which set of input data signals has a significant impact on the set of system state information such as the output. Through a cause-effect analysis technique, sensitivity can be used to support the filtering of unsolicited data to reduce the communication and computational capabilities of a standard supervisory control and data acquisition system. During the analysis, the value of one variable is changed repeatedly and resulting changes on the other variables are observed. The sale of product, for example, is affected by different factors such as price, expenses on advertisements, number of sales staff, productions, etc. Using the sensitivity model, price of a product can be changed, increased or decreased repeatedly to ascertain the sensitivity of different factors and their effect on sales volume. Excel spreadsheets and Lotus 1 to 3 are often used for making such analysis. Backward analysis sensitivity models. Also known as goal seeking analysis, the technique followed in these models is just opposite to the technique applied in sensitivity analysis models. In place of changing the value of a variable repeatedly to see how it affects the other variables, goal seeking analysis sets a target value for your variable and then repeatedly changes the other variables until the target value is achieved. To increase the production level by 40% using backward sensitivity analysis. For example, first, the target value for the production level can be set and then the required changes to made in other factors such as amount of raw material, machinery and tools, number of production staff, etc. to achieve the target production level. In corporate finance, 
it refers to an analysis of how each of the input variables in a capital budgeting decision such as discount rate cash flows growth rate tax rate affect the net present value the irr or any other output while keeping the other variables constant sensitivity analysis is useful because it tells the model user how dependent the output value is on each input it gives him an idea of how much room he has for each variable to go adverse it helps in assessing risk advantages and disadvantages of sensitivity analysis let's first discuss the advantages it compels the decision maker to identify the variables easily and there is no complicated theory to understand it indicates the critical variables for which additional information may be obtained the decision maker can consider actions which may help in strengthening the weak spots in the project it identifies areas that are crucial in the attainment of overall organizational goals as contained in the vision and the mission statement it helps to expose inappropriate forecasts and thus guides the decision maker to concentrate on relevant variables the ease of automation suggests that the process of identifying different possibilities of a variable can be done by simply plugging in the variable in the software for sensitivity analysis let's now discuss the disadvantages of sensitivity analysis firstly it does not provide clear results in terms of optimistic and pessimistic could mean different things to different people secondly it fails to focus on the interrelationship between underlying variables for example the sales volume may be related to the price and cost but we analyze each variable differently thirdly it assumes that changes to variables can be made independently for example the prices will change independently of other variables then simulation allows us to change more than one variable at a time it only identifies how far a variable needs to change but it does not look at the probability of such change there is no explicit probabilistic measure of risk exposure although one might be sure that one of the variable outcomes might happen the analysis contains no explicit measure of their respective likelihoods so students let's now summarize what we have learned in this particular module sensitivity analysis is an analysis method that is used to identify how much variation in the input value for a given variable will impact the result for a mathematical model sensitivity analysis can be applied in a number of different disciplines which include business analysis environmental studies engineering physics chemistry so and so forth in a business context sensitivity analysis can be used to improve decisions being made on based of certain calculations or modeling techniques a company can use sensitivity analysis to identify the best data to be collected for future analysis to evaluate basic assumptions regarding investment and return on investments or roi or to optimize allocation of assets and resources sensitivity analysis is one of the most widely used risk analysis tools that attempt to measure the extent of change in variables and underlying assumptions that would bear impact on the bottom line of cash flows and profitability of a project the idea of appraising a project before committing resources is to give managers a chance of having a bigger picture of what value the project would add to the overall success of business 
Sensitivity analysis, however, is not a solution in standalone form. It is not an optimization technique in the sense that you that the information it only provides is a basis for further analysis, interpretation, and finally, decision-making. Thank you.